unfortunately, I can't go down to Boston to protest every weekend. So, you know, and, and the way I see it is the church here is they have a, a, a duty to challenge this. In other words, they need to speak out against it. And they're not doing that. So they're complicit as far as I'm concerned. So they're complicit in it because they're, they're not only doing nothing Boston. to speak out. What? In Boston. Hmm? In Boston. This happened in yeah, well, yeah, it, it was the, the Unitarian Universal Association. It's the corporate headquarters. It's the Vatican yeah. of the Unitarians. When, they're the ones that accused me of blasphemy. Do you know what's happening in your Etoile Saint Joseph? Uh, no. Something similar. Something yeah, I know. I'm not surprised. No, there's always, there's always something. Actually, just. Uh, I was in the Palais de Justice mm -hmm. here, yeah. and there is here the big sign. Nobody knows. Right. There's stuff yeah. happening there. Um, there's stuff happening everywhere, but, but. Uh, you know, the Unitarian Universalists are just as bad as anyone else when it comes to trying to hide it. <laughs> you know? yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is it. I, actually, just in the last, I'd say, three weeks, a yeah. uh, Unitarian Universalist minister was arrested in Oklahoma on child pornography. Oh. He wasn't producing it, but he was accessing well, that, it. That thing, that, that's for, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he was arrested, so he's, uh, uh, <laughs> he's in jail, so, and he's probably going to stay there. So. This is a true story, man. Yeah. Story, yeah. Look, this is a photo of Palais de Justice. Mm -hmm. It was in January. Yeah. This is the lawyer right. against right. Orator. Orator. Okay, so this might be a lawsuit. Uh, yes. For past. For, uh, class, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So for past abuses. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Congregation de Saint Croix. Yeah. Well, they actually. Uh, they, and they fucking have money. Yeah. yeah. Like, what the hell? <laughs> but actually, as far as that goes, uh, just recently, yeah. within the last month or so, yeah. there was a Catholic priest in mm -hmm. Montreal who was arrested on, you know, child abuse charges mm -hmm. uh, that go back decades. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember his name, but I, I can't remember his name. You know what? But, I, better, uh, I better go because yeah, people, yeah. No, because <laughs> they want to defend me. They want to save me. From, like, <laughs> who wants yeah. to save you? Think, Not these guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they want to save you from what? Atheist? <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody didn't like my picket sign. That's too bad, because it's very, very truthful. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, they're actually accusing me of blasphemy. <laughs> it's a criminal act in the Canadian Criminal Code, and the, the head office in Boston hired a lawyer to accuse me of violating Canada's blasphemy law. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm enjoying every second of being accused of blasphemy by Unitarians. <laughs> So uh, it looks like these California people are uh, coming to the church. So we got a guy in a cowboy hat and uh, extracting someone from the car. So I guess I was right in surmising that uh, I don't know yet. They haven't actually gone in, but uh, but uh, it looks like they're on their way into the church. Uh, could be going elsewhere. <coughs> It's a good morning when you're accused of blasphemy by Unitarians in the 21st century. It doesn't get better than that. <laughs> so, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> Looks like they may not be going in. We'll see. We'll know in a few seconds. Oh, there they go. Yeah. So they are, in fact, uh, going to the Unitarian Church of Montreal to uh, attend the service. And uh, I got uh, a happy Easter from the guy in the cowboy hat. Um, now I'm assuming that, you know, because they're from out of the province and because they're actually attending the service that the chances are pretty good that they actually are uh, Unitarian Universalists from California. They may not be. You know, there might be some other reason from someone from California to attend the, uh, you know, uh, Easter Sunday service. Here, they, they could actually be Christians who uh, who don't realize that, you know, the Unitarian Church of Montreal is essentially uh, an atheist-dominated uh, uh, 
in quotation marks church you know maybe they just uh, you know saw the church and decided well we'll go to this one for Easter not realizing that uh, it's not going to be a uh, Christian uh, or certainly not a uh, Trinitarian Christian uh, service and uh, the minister is an atheist and a lot of the members are atheists so chances of uh, you know any kind of straightforward Christian uh, interpretation of Easter going on here are absolutely minimal um, so we shall see in any case got a Another fellow just stepped out into the entry area. But yeah, so far not a whole lot of people showing up really. Uh, I can't say I've seen more than uh, a dozen or so going in since I've been here. It's heading towards 10.30. Uh, and uh, now in the past, uh, the church since the last fall they've been doing a little procession into the church just before the service starts like at around 10 25 or so um, so whether or not they'll do that today I don't know um, but this is something new this was something that wasn't normally done but last September at the beginning of the church year in September they started this little ritual as it were of uh, entering the church in a little procession, you know, singing a hymn or chanting uh, something. So, uh, anywho, we'll uh, see oh, another uh, out-of-province license plate. Somebody's wagging a finger. Not sure if they're wagging it at me. Um, <clears throat> but uh, they're stopping, so uh, could be another out-of-province uh, Unitarian Universalist who's uh, coming to the Unitarian Church of Montreal's Easter service. Not a not impossible. <clears throat> so I think we're uh, coming to the end of a half hour segment of video. So I'm going to have to uh, start a new segment soon. And I got some people going in here that I don't recognize, so they're not the regular attendees of the Unitarian Church of Montreal. Um, yeah, it's not surprising, you know, on Easter Sunday, one can expect, you know, that a certain number of non-members will show up, you know, just because it's Easter Sunday. You know, some of them may not even realize that the Unitarian Church of Montreal isn't even a Christian church per se. So I'm just going to end this now and start a fresh clip. Uh, so that's it for now.